Good morning from the 4th Street Photo Gallery. It's been somewhat of a up and down emotionally head trip. Anyway, this is a Saturday morning. This is the show I have up for October. Not exactly one of those kinds of shows that most people are interested in seeing. But somehow or another it fits within the realm of what's happening in the rest of the world today. I go through my work and I look at various aspects of it. I find it has interesting tales to tell about future realities. So, I decided I need to get a better handle on what I'm putting up on the wall. And then I realized what I put up Three individuals who's no longer with us. Icons of the Lower East Side. Quinton Crisp, Anna and Purple, and Barbara Shaw. Two pillars of the Lower East Side. Gone. Not exactly gone. I took a break. Get out of here. Went to see him in concert, should have recorded it. Stupid. Anyway. And then there's the front window. Something catchy. I'm putting up catchy things. You know, immediately embed itself into their conscious as they flash in by trying to get to their next destination in life. Oh, and I found this image and printed it up. Went there to see Victor Brady, street musician, finally made it to the bottom line, completely legit. Boy, did he get legit. Anyway, let me get back to the other side over here. This is one of my most interesting pieces. <laughs> the actual room in the outdoors held up by a boom. <laughs> anyway. So, as I'm getting better organized, I decide I need to get a little bit deeper into things I've done in the past. So I've been busy going back through various DVDs that I've written, all mixed up, and find some interesting pieces in there. Then I decided to have a tape recorder that uh, I got at a flea market some time ago. I used to be very heavy into tapes, seven and a half inch stuff, man. Good sound. So I have a lot of, lot of collectible tapes, so I decided to go and find my little trusty tape recorder and get it out and see whether or not it needed some repairs. Some time ago I gave away a single tape recorder, I keep kicking myself in the butt for doing it, but I had to do the person a favor and give them something nice. So I got this at a flea market. One of them old trusty Sony's, man. Built like a iron rock. So I put the button on, mashed the button, and the light came on. Oh, that's the first step. Then I said, okay, it doesn't work. So I get over to the little working sign and mash the button, and wow, it works. Now, I'm in business now to get to find some tapes. So I'm looking for some tapes. I have a 
huge tape collection. I have some out. That's very important. It just I need to see it, but not. I completely forgot about what I put out. So I went and some tapes, and I have an empty reel, by the way. I'm looking for an empty reel, right? So I see empty reels are all generally in boxes, right? So I find this box here. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Can you believe it? What this is? A treasure. A real treasure. A real treasure. A morale. A special piece that he actually done for an opening back in October 1976 at the 4th Street Photo Gallery. Can you imagine? Two of them on real tape, man. This is good stuff, man. Real quality stuff. This is quality stuff, man. When you get up to this level, you know what you're doing when you're taping, man. Serious stuff. And he gave it to me as a present. It has a lot of interesting presents. They call it the mosquito net. <laughs> That's Abe. <laughs> hey, Abe. Guess what? I have the tapes all preciously sealed, labeled, tail out. Oops, where'd you see the box? It took you away. Anyway. These are the tapes that was played during his opening back in October. Amazing stuff, man. Totally amazing. So that's my find of the day. Now, what do I do with the find of the day? Still got to get them working. Zero. See what I got. Thanks, Abe. Spirit be with you.